News 8 is putting you first once again. Tonight we're talking about ticks and mosquitoes. They are seemingly everywhere right now, Maureen, and you are with the experts in Studio B talking about how to prevent all this stuff. That's right. We're calling it bugs, and for good reason, Adam. Joining me now is Dr. Maria Elena Velez de Brown. She is the Deputy Commissioner of Public Health in Monroe County. Uh, Doctor, we, we talked about, you know, how to prevent problems when you're out and about, maybe having a hike in the woods when it comes to ticks. But you can also take steps in your own backyard. Is that correct? Oh, absolutely, and we recommend it. So ticks um, and other bugs like that like to live in areas that have a lot of leaf litter. So the first thing we always recommend is that folks clear any yard waste, um, make sure that there's no trash or other areas, areas of your yard that can harbor not only ticks and bugs, but other rodents as well. Um, um, certainly for uh, protecting young children, we would recommend that we keep swing sets or any other yard area equipment that they play with away from the edges of a yard that might abut or be up against any kind of a wooded area so that the children will not be as likely to brush against those areas and pick up ticks that way. Uh, when we think about trying to minimize mosquitoes in someone's yard, mosquitoes require water to lay their eggs and so we recommend changing, getting rid of any kind of receptacles or Again, garbage, even as little amount of water as is in a bottle cap. You know, mosquitoes can lay eggs there. And most mosquitoes will tend to live near where they've hatched. So if you get rid of areas where mosquitoes can lay their eggs um, and change water, if you have, for example, a bird bath, um, you can change that water out. The state recommends twice a week just so that the, um, the eggs of the mosquitoes don't have time to develop and actually hatch into full-grown mosquitoes. Dr. Bella Brown, thank you so much. Uh, the phones are ringing. 287-8005. The number to call between now and 630. These experts can certainly answer your questions. Adam? Absolutely.